welcome back guys so today we are going to discuss the decimal to binary conversion and in this regard we are going to solve question number 11 of uh, section 2.3 in which we have to convert each decimal number mentioned here to binary by using the sum of weight method okay uh, so what is basically the sum of weight method so let me first uh, use the part a of my questions here so that is in decimal okay so uh, basically i know that in all the weights uh, when i convert the decimal number into the binary one so i have different weights so those weights basically starts from zero and those are basically the powers of two so that start from zero then one two three four five six seven okay so these are different weights and their values if i calculate their values so let me calculate their values so the value of two of zero is let me have it one this is two this is four this is 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Similarly, if I have this 2 raised to the power 8, so it will be how much 2 raised to the power 8 is? Sorry, I have used the blue color here. So that is now 250. Six, okay so these are uh, different weights in order to convert my decimal number into the binary one i have to use these weights in addition okay so using in decimal to binary conversion by using the sum of weight method uh, what we have to do if we have a decimal number let me call 12 so i have to search for the highest possible number here which uh, basically matches my decimal number here okay so what is that highest possible number out of these three so this is basically this eight so let me select this eight and write one with it okay so with eight what are the other lowest possible numbers which can be when added to eight will give me this 12 so that is clearly this four so when i will write one with it the others two will become zero so therefore this is the binary number which is equivalent to my number here because when these will be added together okay so what will happen so when this eight multiplied by one when i will have eight multiplied by one four multiplied by one 2 multiplied by 0 and 1 multiplied by 0 and I, when I will add them together what I will get I will get here 12 in the decimal number system so therefore this 110 is the equivalent 1100 is the equivalent binary number for this 1210 okay so that is the procedure for which i have to use this table okay uh, so this is this was my part a similarly in order to solve part b of my question what is that that is 15 okay so that is now 15 in decimal so what is the rule of thumb what you have to do you have to search for the highest possible number which matches my number here okay so that is 15 so what is the highest possible number so highest possible number again is this 8 okay so let me write one with it okay similarly what is the second number when added with 8 will give me the closest possible number with 15 so that is again 4 so 8 plus 4 is 12 okay uh, what are the other number this 2 is when added and this 1 will be added because 8 plus 4 is 12 so plus 3 will give me this 15 so 2 plus 3, 1 will also give me 3 so therefore selecting both of them I will get what I will get 15 here so it will be the binary equivalent of it will be 1 1 1 1 so that is the binary equivalent so similarly using the same procedure which i have previously used like that 8 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 and plus 1 multiplied by 1 what i will get i will ultimately get this 15 okay similarly the other question let me first clear it the other question now part c of my question is 
25 in decimal what is the possible equivalent binary number so uh, what is the nearest highest number here so 32 is higher than 25 so let me select the 16 okay so how uh, much is left now so 25 minus 16 is 9 okay so now then selecting this 8 8 out of 9 so now 16 plus 8 is 24 and now 1 is left so selecting this one here while others are 0 0 so that is what that is my 25 because 16 multiplied by 1 16 plus 8 is 24 and multiplied by 1 will be 25 so the binary equivalent of 25 is 1 1 double 0 1 this 2 okay so that is the binary number so uh, i think you have got the concept that how can we convert any decimal number into the binary one by using the sum of fates method similarly if i have another number here let me use here this d and that is 50 in decimal okay so what is the highest possible number here that is now 16 okay how much is left now 18 is left because 50 minus 32 is 18 so that 16 again so out of 18 i have got the 16 16 plus 32 is 48 so 2 is left so selecting this one and making others 0 so that is the binary equivalent of 15 and it will be equal to 1 1 double 0 1 0 and that is in binary okay now e part e is 65 in bin in decimal so the highest possible number here is this 64 and 64 plus 1 is 65 while others are now zeros okay so this is 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 zeros so therefore it will be 1 1 2 3 4 5 and this one so that is what that is the binary equivalent of 65 so 1 2 3 4 5 yes that is the correct one okay so uh, part e similarly part f what is part f so part f contains 97 in binary in decimal sorry so therefore now the highest possible number here is again 64 so 97 minus 64 is how much that is 33 okay so now uh, using this 32 so it would be 64 plus 32 will be 96 and this one 97 so all others will be zero now okay so now again it will be double one four zeros and one in binary okay uh, similarly part g in part g of my question what is this that is 127 in decimal so uh, let me first remove it so for 127 in decimal what is the highest possible number that is again uh, 64 so 64 i have got so 64 plus 32 is how much that is 96 so 127 minus 96 is 31 so again now uh, for 31 let me use this one here as well so that would be 16 plus 64 is how much uh, that is 80 80 plus 32 is 112 it is 120 120 plus 4 is 124 this 126 and then 127 okay so that is now 127 and all the seven bits which are ones so let me use it here so one two three four five six seven all ones are basically the binary number here okay so that is the binary equivalent of what that is 127 similarly the last one here and that is now 198 okay that is 198 in decimal so i have to find the binary equivalent of this number so what is the highest possible number the highest possible number here is this 128 okay so uh, with 128 
when I will add 64, what it will be? So, 64 uh, plus 128 is 130, 130 and 62 is 192. So, it will be 192 how much is remaining 6 uh, is remaining ok. So, 192 plus 4 is 196 and 196 and this 2 is 198 ok. So, that is now 0 0 sorry 0 0 0. So, that is now the minor equivalent of it are 1 1 triple 0 okay double one and zero so that is what that is the binary equivalent of 198 so that's it for today in which we have discussed a table here and you have to draw it because these are all the powers of twos and it, because uh, i have to use the sum of weights methods so it is mandatory to first draw this table and uh, then you can very easily convert any decimal number into the binary one okay so that's it for today i will see you with more interesting questions in our upcoming videos so if you did not subscribe my channel yet please subscribe it and like this video thank you so much and i will see you soon